Human friend Dave? Yes, Kualazek? This arrow, as you call it, is a war hero? Yeah, buddy. Had a big one, too. Literally and figuratively. You know anything about the... Arandi Terror War? It's what most historians consider the beginning of the human inclusion in the galactic community. I believe the war spanned over 60 Terran revolutions, and billions died on both sides? Yeah, see, the Arandi didn't take kindly to humanity showing up, and demanding the Ilarians stop taking humans from our planet to fight in slave games. Actually, I don't think they minded that part. Our causing their start to collapse into a black hole when they refused may have been the real issue. Anyway, we sort of felt bad about that, but then stopped feeling bad when the Ilarians showed up and bombed the planet from orbit. 3.5 billion people dead in a day in a very pissed off Ilarian homeworld when their fleet returned and bombed them as well. After that, things got messy. We both took a few years to recover and then the fighting started again. Colony whilst were both races burned, weapons of war were developed, blooded, made obsolete and retired, and it just kept going. Humanity decided to make a point and made the Lancers. 100 metres tall and 55,000 metric tons of myoma, metal and malice. Each unit had to bomb with a pilot in a specialised cockpit, and each unit was already sentient without them. 15 marks were made. They started smaller, everything after the Mark 10 was about this big. They won the war. Zah, how is the rad treatment going on it? The Crows and archaeologist looked at his data slate and did some mental math. We should have the shell within safe levels in about 24 dead ticks. Dave nodded. Four minutes until they can get close enough to see if they can save the pilot. He needed Arrow to conserve power. The machine was dying as it used up his power reserves. The nearest machine that could recharge it was still hours away. Even after witnessing the events of the Battle of the Nile firsthand through Arrow's sensors, Dave was in awe. The past. Why the hell are we fighting over an ice cap? The last unit, connected to her mind, responded in a matter-of-fact voice. There are deposits below this ice cap which can be utilised to make fissionable materials. The enemy has utilised it consistently since learning how to create it from humanity. Arrow, I am clocking 15 bogies and Mac 3 as the priority. What the... Holy crap, are they remotes? As the Lancer strode into a group of large armoured vehicles and began tearing them apart, Arrow focused several arrays of sensors and concluded, Negative, pilot. There is no telemetry data exchange. Those have been piloted by soon-to-be-dead organics. The radiation levels are far too great for any shielding such a craft can manage. Missile launch detected. Commander Amanda Harris directed counter-missile fire, and a few seconds later the sky several miles from the battle erupted in dozens of miniature stars as the warheads detonated. The shockwaves hit a few seconds later, tossing most of the vehicles and people around like so much tinfoil. Lancer Mark 14, Unit Arrow 56773 of the line, was not like the others in the battle, and simply leaned forward. Alarms blared internally. Amanda checked, and while the current rads were nothing to her, safe in the shell, the outer skin of Arrow would be dangerously hot and need to be replaced. Then another launch was detected. What the hell? I thought we took out those birds, Arrow responded in his typical fashion. Affirmative pilot, all 15 bogus were eliminated as well as their launched ordnance. The Lancer turned and began sprinting towards the likely target area. This is a ground-based launch. These appear to be rather potent. They are aimed at the 82nd Armored Division to our left flank, which is engaged with the enemy. Estimate 98% casualty rate on both sides. Fuck! We have their ciphers, right? Send the enemy the telemetry. Tell them to get the hell out. Send the 98th for the retreat signal. The Lancer skidded to a stop and began to run to close the distance. Don't take this the wrong way, but I kind of wish you were an Echo right now. For the first time in their seven-year career together, Amanda heard Arrow chuckle. Negative, pilot. Don't wish for an inferior. Besides, we may not be able to fly, but we can fall with style. Bounding towards a small ice shelf, the rocket passed on the legs and back of the Lancer angled down, and simultaneously fired several dozen high-explosive volleys. Propelled by the explosions, it launched into the air, and then every missile and every rack fired as one towards the enemy missiles. Been a pleasure and an honour, Arrow. She felt his refusal to quit, as the machine brought up all the limbs and took the impact. Even at this distance, the shockwave and radiation were massive. The Lancer slammed into the ground. Trying to stand, it took a knee instead. Systems blared. Did we save them? Arrow looked in the direction of the former battle. Visual confirmation indicates the weapons did not impact. Some damage caused, unable to... 
Error. Unable to contact anyone. All communication systems have been compromised by the impact. Radiation levels for the shell are lethal to all life for thousands of years. Amanda? Not doing well, bud. You need to walk to the base. Authorize night-night protocol. You did it. No. Setting shell to hibernation cycle. Initiating rad overdose protocol. Must save you. Mission complete. Protocol 2 satisfied. I cannot lose you, pilot. Walk home. That's an order. Unit unable to. Leg damage severe. Temperature increase will cause loss of shell system integrity in two days. No. Water freezing again. Sub-zero temperatures can allow this unit to maintain integrity. Amanda was almost unconscious. The hibernation system's getting her sleepy. Find a new commander. Dave watched as Arrow drug itself into the water in the desperate attempt to save his pilot instead of himself. Present. Arrow, we have around four minutes until you are safe for us to attempt a pilot detach. At that point, we'll need you to go into standby while we render aid. You have full sensors on while on standby, got it? But use up as little juice as you can. I need you to hold out until the cavalry arrives. That's an order. This unit thanks you for allowing it to continue to monitor its pilot. Please take good care of her. Commander Harris is dear to me. Of course, Arrow. We flew in a trauma specialist after you gave us the details of her injuries. You'll be happy to know we can fix the genetic and cellular damage of the dose of radiation she has taken. Her physical injuries will hopefully not be more than we can assist with. You did an amazing job protecting her. Protocol 3. Protect the pilot. <laughs>